Hello, everyone. Welcome to Bronco Wild Outdoors, our very first live stream. How do you like that, Gavin? Good. This is my little buddy here, Gavin, my son. Hello. He's my, uh, I guess, soon to be, what What would you call you? Co-pilot, spotter, Co or? Uh, Co-pilot, spotter, cameraman. Driver, uh, driver in training. So, technically. Yeah, you have a few years ago before we can go. So, um. This is not an official, you know, Bronco uh, site. Of course, this is our little part of the world that we're experiencing and uh, want to, you know, show what we get to experience with buying a new 2021 Bronco. Yep. Pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. So we were just back from Supercell East uh, in Tennessee. And that was awesome. Wasn't it awesome? Yeah. So uh, Ford was so nice to have the ride along there, and you could actually drive the Bronco Sport, uh, which was pretty interesting, by the way. I tell you, I didn't know what to think about a Bronco Sport. I mean, my eyes have been on the full-size Bronco. Um and it, it was, you know, it was, it was pretty interesting. Uh, we So we got in it and I was thinking, okay, well, I don't know if it's going to be like a car or what it's going to be like. So we were in a Badlands. And let me tell you, it is the real deal. Uh, Gavin will tell you, it's pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> we had the we had the bash plates underneath and I think they were being used because we were in these mm -hmm. off-road and the ruts are kind of high. And uh, so it was pretty interesting, but it, uh, good maneuverability. Um, the camera when you're in the, so you have the seven goat modes and when you're in the mud rut mode, one of the many modes that the front camera comes on, we went to the top of a hill over this apex and literally without a spotter outside of the car, you couldn't see on the other side of the hill. I've never driven it before. I had no idea where I was going, but right there on the dash was this, uh, screen, that monitor, that uh, touch screen that showed us, you know, with the front camera pointing actually forward and down and bingo, you could see over the hill. So that was pretty cool. And Gavin did a lot of good filming there. So he was trying to hold the camera up. So when you go back and look at the footage that we're editing now, he could see over the hood a little bit, but I couldn't see anything. So the Bronco Sport is for real. So we, uh, we're we the soon-to-be owners, I guess, eventually, mm -hmm. of a uh, – go ahead and tell them. Um, see if you can roll this off without looking at your notes. No, no, no. Go from memory. Go from so memory. So it is a four-door Area 51 Badlands with South Dodge package, um, Lux package. Mm -hmm. Then it come with the high package too. Uh, so we we actually upgraded last minute. Oh. I had a little yeah. panic attack kind of, and just anyway. Long story short, I upgraded from high to Lux. And then so it has the hard top. And of course, 35 inch tires because it's um, Sasquatch, 2.7 liter. Um, what kind of transmission? Uh, 10 speed uh, automatic. Very good, automatic 10 speed. Mm -hmm. What kind of interior do we have? The it's like the waterproof. I forgot what it's called. V starts with a V. Waterproof. Vinyl. Yes, give me five. Alrighty. So Mr. Gavin here, he's got this down pat. So, um, but yeah, I, I have my order right here. So I did, if you look at my channel, if you subscribe to the channel, look at all of my videos, you'll see where I, uh, I actually did, uh, my Bronco order explained. I'm going to have to redo that because I did change a little bit. Now, a lot of people, and, and this may be something, if you're buying a Bronco and you've ordered it off of the, you know, the colors on the website, and maybe you've looked at the sports and you're trying to imagine what the full size is going to look like, uh, I have really struggled with the paint. I mean, it, it, Mr. Gavin here will tell you that I've been like. Yeah, I'm Ooh. between Race Red, Velocity Blue, and Area 51. We're currently with Area 51, and we're 99% sure we're going to stick with that. Well, yeah, and see, here's the deal. When uh, so the the uh, the order is in, and so what has ex been explained to me until you go priority one, or until your order has been scheduled, and you get a VIN, you can change. So the Monday before Supercell, I upgraded to Lux, and I said, now when I get there, I called the dealer. When I get there, if I see another color that I just totally like, we're changing. And he said that was fine. And then so Wednesday was my cutoff because potentially that Thursday which 
how many weeks ago? A week and a half ago, whatever. Uh, that that Thursday was could be when my order was turned into a build. I get my VIN number and the build date. Well, that didn't happen. And uh, so last Thursday came and went and no email. <laughs> so, so it's like, you know, I was the first day reservation holder. And uh, so I guess maybe the what we've ordered is causing some delays and who knows what. So anyway, I can't see the comments here, but if you have, you know, if you've ordered a Bronco and you haven't heard anything about your actual build, um, you know, let me know. I definitely would like to know. So Gavin and I are doing a couple things here tonight is kind of just chatting with you live, but we're also testing this out. This is a new feature for us. Um, if we like StreamYard, we're going to actually go from the free version to paid version and that'll get rid of the banner right where is it right there it's kind of hard to do when you're in reverse so um but uh technology is great by the way for streaming what do you think good you and like by multitasking i'm doing a project a project a school project yes yeah, does it have anything to do with broncos mm. no no, but oh, I actually let check this out. So he's doing a project on what is it, aliens or something? And or I, it's a, planet a planets, Uranus. Yeah. I don't want to say it the other yeah, way, yeah, yeah, it yeah. Right, 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 right. So planets, and then so it's about an alien. If an alien lived on that planet, how would it live or something? Yeah, okay, well, like what would it need to survive? Right, you kind of like we're going Area 51 on the paint now, mm hmm. Like, what, what will it need to? Be but you thing? don't know about Area 51, do you? Hmm? Oh. oh, oh, that! <laughs> oh, the, the actual place. Yeah. Yes, I do know. So now it all kind of makes sense. He's doing there anyway. It's. I don't know what they're learning about, like aliens and Martians and stuff. Uh, oh, it's mostly like the solar system. Solar. Okay. Well, I can understand that, and I guess make it fun. They're thinking like little guys running around, and you can do. <laughs> Uh, Area 51 Bronco, what you know, what do you want me to say? So, um, maybe in Area 51, they're hiding a bunch of um Sasquatch Badlands. Actually, uh, you Area know, Area 51 co colored Toro Bronco. Yeah, actually, you know, the whole Sasquatch thing is kind of cool too. How that's uh starting. So, when we were in uh Townsend, Tennessee, there's a little shop there that sold Sasquatch stuff, and uh, <laughs> we were having some fun with the owners, they're a really good guy. And told him he should have been over there with uh, the new Bronco buyers, you know, with the Sasquatch package, right? Yeah. So there's some marketing stuff in there for him. But our logo that we're uh, creating now is, is definitely our, our own and it's very unique. And uh, I can't wait for everyone to see it. It's going to be fun, <laughs> right? It'll be very interesting. Yeah. So, look, here's the thing. I'm, I'll admit for overlanding, camping, um, off-roading somewhat. I'm a noob. I'm newbie. I'm the new guy. Sorry. Uh, but I have total respect for everybody that's been doing this for a long time and they really know the tricks of the trade. They know the the trails, the techniques. And so I'm learning. So uh, what I do know is Ford products. Uh, you see this right here. I'm the uh, author of a book, Driven, which is uh, pretty cool about me and my old Mustang that is actually just below us here. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, in the room below us. So, well, it's like right there. Well, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, now we're just splitting hairs if we say it's yeah. here, if it's there. But <laughs> So, it's in the garage. So, I'm a Ford guy. Uh, F-250 diesel, um, with the exception of my wife's Range Rover, which is kind of because Ford owned Range Rover for a while. Yeah. Well, not at that time. I'm not not at that time. Not that, at that time. That bit. car was ma manufactured. That's right. Well, see, you just know way too much about cars. And then we but, have, like, the van, the other Mustang. We have three Mustangs. So, a 66, a 91 GT, uh, 66 GT, by the way, um, and a uh, 2010. So. And then Explore. And then we have an Explorer, and then we, you know, work trucks or Ford stuff. So, so I'm not new to Ford, okay? And so, when Ford, when I found out that Ford was coming out with the Bronco, it was exciting. I couldn't wait. You know, this was pretty cool because uh, there's really one vehicle in that space. Um, and now there's a, uh, I, in my opinion, looking at the specs and riding in one, because I've actually been in one on the trails, it's a much superior vehicle. And I think it's, I think it's going to, um, it's, it's going to be fun. And what happens is when someone else enters a space where it's been dominated by one manufacturer, it, it ups competition. So the other brand 
they'll get upgrades and new features and things in the years to come. And, and, and then Ford will be right back at it. And so I just think that the space here that's being created with the, the Bronco, it's actually, it's already there. The space is there, but it's being expanded. So imagine what we can do now um, with the outdoor stuff. So what the Bronco is doing, and you don't need a Bronco to get the family together and go enjoy the outside you know, the outdoors. I mean, that's just, you can do it in any vehicle. We can do it in a Range Rover if we wanted to. Um, I just think it, it's different when it's, when you consider maybe a little more, more fun involved in getting to the destination, take the top off, uh, take the doors off. And of course the safety doors on that, because I know taking the doors off for off road, but you know, the, the crash test doors, I think the, uh, they have a crash test rating, the tubular doors, uh, don't know the name. Sorry, sorry. Comment below if you do. Um, well, that's going to be interesting. So you sort of create that entire lifestyle of getting to your destination. So I think, I, I think if I'm looking at the old guy and maybe the the dad and the husband in me, I think that's the cool feature. Um, but the youthfulness in me says I can't wait to hit the sand, the trails, the <laughs> uh, the roof mounted tent. Hey, so like I said, new camper. I'm a, I'm a new uh, I'm new at the. Um, it's not quite glamping, I guess, if you're staying in a tent. So, but if your mom went, she'd have to have big screen TV, uh, power, or running water. It's just yeah. not possible. Yeah. Now that's glamping. Uh, so we're looking forward to it. Look, much respect to everybody from all different brands, people that drive other vehicles. Much respect to you. You know, you've been doing it for years. I'm the new guy, but I can tell you one thing is that anything I get interested in, we go all out in. Um, I was uh, blessed to be a, a builder for a TV show. Uh, where we got to build houses in uh, in a less than a week. Actually, everybody thought of it as seven days, but the actual build was 106 hours. Uh, I've done some fun stuff like that. Uh, entrepreneur, multiple business owner. Um, I can tell you that this space here, uh, I want to earn everyone's respect. Um, uh, I want to I, I, like I want to earn it. I don't expect you just watch this channel because I want you to watch it. I want you to watch it, especially when we get Bronco. We're going to start doing some really cool stuff. Very interesting things. You know, right now we're limited. We're posting pictures that we took at a local dealership and as well as Supercell East, which was great. Um, yeah, that was really fun. And it's fun, right? We've seen my a lot of my pictures on Instagram being posted around. Uh, and, um, it, you know, uh, that's kind of cool. I wish I could get some credit for it, you know, to so drive people here to this page, but whatever. And I'm not a, pro a professional for photographer, but I see an angle. I know what I want to, uh, want to get it. Like I imagine looking at it and that's kind of angle we do. Yeah. So Mr. Gavin here is a, uh, he's a trooper. He's my, uh, co-host and we're 12, 13 minutes already. So we have to go. Yeah. So cameraman for you, cameraman for my channel, yep. which is Gavin's toy garage. By the yeah. Way. Gavin's toy garage. That's and we have some Bronco content on there. Yep. So we've added some Brian. So there's going to be some neat stuff going back and forth. I think Gavin is, uh, really excelled with the camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when we do the off rodeo, uh, the Bronco off rodeo, we're going to have a uh, videographer with us. So Gavin and I can concentrate on all the cool stuff, right? Yeah. So we're looking for, we're registered uh, for that. And of course, now we're waiting on the dates for the events and actually sign up for which event we're going to do. I think we're going to do Texas. Yeah. And um, now Kyle was our, was our driver. Sorry, mm -hmm. I cut you off, buddy. Kyle He's was our Moab. and it's Moab. This is so I kind of like. Well, I want to go out there and see him again, and and I mean that's his home turf. I'd I'd love to go out there and you know learn from him. Uh, but I think uh, as far as from what I know, Texas is going to be a little more more interesting for us. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm getting my own filming camera for me because lately I've been filming for my channel with either his um phone or the canon m50 so yeah and the canon m50 is is great for me it's a little big for you well right yeah or so, especially with the mic on it right the big mic and and something else is to bring your own device to bar bring your did i say that wrong bring your own <laughs> device bring your own device rail or bar is it bar or rail it's bar because i've heard bring, bar bring I've your heard, own device Bar, 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 yeah, bar, bar or rail. What is it? You know the thing on the dash, yeah. So um, hope, I, I guess that's going to be aftermarket now, and that's fine. But you know, we we're going to upgrade. We're going to uh, add some two, like probably two GoPros, and 
I think the idea is uh, letting the world see what we experience in our new Bronco, um, whether it be vacation, road trip, me and little man here. Dad, we should know we should get one of those mounts for the GoPro and then mount one like on the back or, or the sides, like outside of the car. Oh, we can. Yeah. And it's so 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 you can really see like tires all. Yeah, we'll probably do something crazy, mount one underneath it. We gotta have a drone. Hmm. Man, we're this is getting expensive. If your mom <laughs> if your mom's watching this right now, we're in, we're in trouble. We just <laughs> spent a lot of money. Two GoPros and another we have a big drone, but uh it's 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 way too big. So yeah, anyway, we're so we're not gonna get too far off the subject. But I do like, have my drone and that's smaller and and it does have a camera. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just yeah. not that skilled at flying it. Yeah, it does. It does. So on the um on the Bronco, it's gonna be pretty cool. Like I said, I know we're just rambling right now, but that's kind of the fun of it, right? Yeah. So um I can't wait. I hope this Thursday now I will tell you, keep an eye on this channel because when I get that email, <laughs> we have something kind of cool uh planned. Don't don't say it. Yeah. Don't, don't say it. We have something kind of cool planned and uh it's it maybe might go viral, right? I mean, it's kind of fun. Sorry, I'm over here kicking stuff here. <laughs> uh, by the way, you can't see this table below us. So I'll show it to you in the future. It's actually a uh, uh, industrial wheel. Uh, there's two of them here, a smaller one at the bottom and a bigger one on top. And I actually made that a few years ago. Yeah, so it's a, like painted black, maybe like covered. In Sorry, black. I'm getting this shiny squirrel moment. Yeah, I'm off track. Uh, so. We're talking Broncos, not tables. Oh. All right. All right. Keep me straight, little man. So, um, but yeah, right here, my order. I will tell you this uh, before. Some people ask, well, what is the actual cost of a Badlands Sasquatch uh, Area 51? Not that the color really matters. Actually, the color does matter. Yeah. You know, were you tired? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the cyber orange, from what I remember, was a five hundred dollar upcharge. And there may be another color in there that they charge for that, but I think it was five hundred dollars more if you went cyber orange. Different pink yeah. color. Yeah, yeah. and I'll and I'll say something. So if you're struggling like I was, I started to say this early on with area fifty one. So I'm I'm settled on it. That's what we're getting. That's it. Uh velocity blue is awesome. Race red is really cool. I think velocity blue and race red really look good in the wild track trim. So you have the gloss black drill, uh, yeah. grill mirrors. You have the black logo on the hood. Um, and then imagine if you got, well, in 2022, you'll be able to get the black painted top. Uh, but right now, if you did a soft top, then it's black. It's not the carbonized gray. And I think it's just a really rich looking color, right? It is. Yeah. And I, I, we saw it on the two door, but mm -hmm. I imagine it looks better on the four door. Yeah. Well, well, actually, didn't we see a four door? Uh, well, not a velocity blue. Okay, we didn't. Yeah, you're right. It was only a two door. And I'll tell you. So we did a video. If you uh, look here uh, on our channel, uh, there was one where we did a walk around of a Badlands non Sasquatch and a Black Diamond Sasquatch. The black diamond was antimatter blue. And let me tell you, in the sunlight with that thing cleaned up, it is crisp. I mean, it is rich. So when I started talking about the um, cyber orange, cyber orange, when you look at some of the videos, because you got to remember a lot of these vehicles are dirty and real dusty. Um, you, you know, when you're seeing them out like Moab or something. So you really can't get a depth for the color. But I can tell you, seeing it in person with it washed, you could see the flake, the metal flake in the paint. Uh, it is a really an awesome color. There again, imagine that in Wild Track with the gloss black. So anyway, so when you're picking these colors, it's a big decision. You have a lot. Uh, I think the only thing missing, if I had anything to do with paint colors, I would have a green in there, some type of green, you know, like, a I don't know, a moss green or some kind of an olive type green. Uh, but I think uh, hopefully that will be coming in 2022. And so we are getting two Broncos. The, the uh, we have two reservations initially, Badlands and Wild Track. Uh, we've turned the Badlands into an order on January 29th. I'm a first ninth reservation holder, uh, so that should put me timestamp wise pretty close. But I, you know, at this point, I don't know if that matters. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the the Wild Track we may change that over to a Badlands because can you get waterproof uh, vinyl in a Badlands? I mean, in a Wild Track. I. Don't know actually. No leather and carpet, of course. I'll search that. 
We can search it. Well, your uh, your your mom would want the leather because you know. And the thing is, is that you have the electric, you have the heated seats, but you don't have the power seats when you do marine grade vinyl. Uh, I say waterproof. I should say marine grade vinyl. That's technically what it is. Um, but anyway, all right. Look, we're out. Sorry to keep you guys so long. And if you didn't want to be here, obviously you just you've uh, you've turned it off. But Gavin and I are going to start doing these. I think right now we're going to do once a week, and and we'll do more. I can uh, I can uh, tell you the 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 day my cat's getting ready to jump up here on the table. Say hi. Um, the the day that we uh, get the email um, that I have a build date and a VIN number, uh, we'll definitely be live that night because we're gonna have a that's gonna be worthy of a party, you know? It's gonna be like uh, Kool Aid and cookies and stuff, man. That's yeah. just gonna be a good day. So it doesn't actually say if you can get it. It, it doesn't. It doesn't say. Maybe somebody could comment, right? and I'll look it up. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm just. I'm putting myself on the spot because I honestly don't know, but, but one thing I'll tell you about this channel, like I, I started to hit on it earlier, uh, Bronco wild outdoors. When we get our Bronco, you're going to see a lot of really cool content. I think original, maybe not what you're thinking. Uh, it's definitely going to be creative. I have a creative mind and, uh, Gavin, I'll tell you whenever I, I like get my, you know, focus on, uh, that's, it's going to be interesting. So, um, I think it's going to be cool. So, Mm -hmm. and we're live all right yeah i'll see you guys later thanks right. we'll say goodbye bye bye everybody and we're live. turn your volume all right, yeah. all right see you